Hi boys and girls, I'm Teacher Patty and I'm a teacher from Options for Learning and today I'm going to read the story titled The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Have you read the story before? A lot of my friends have. Yeah, this story is very popular and a lot of the teachers read the story in the classroom. I know I've read the story many times and I really like this story. So we have the very hungry caterpillar in the front cover all by himself and look at the back cover. What do you see on the back cover? Yeah, I see a big leaf and look, oh, a little tiny caterpillar in the sun. So on the back cover, the caterpillar is tiny and in the front cover, he's big. So he's bigger here and he's smaller here. Oh, he's so little. So we're going to find out how this caterpillar gets so big in The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the egg. I wonder what's in that egg. See. And one Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So he is very hungry. That's the that's what was in the egg that we saw on the leaf. So he started to look for some food. And on Monday, he ate through, what did he find? Yeah, one apple. But he was still hungry. So then on Tuesday, he found, what did he find? One, two pears. But he was still hungry. So on Wednesday, he found some plums. And he ate through those three plums, but he was still hungry. So then on Thursday, what did he find on Thursday? Yeah, he found some strawberries. Let's see how many he found. One, two, three, four. And he ate through those four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. So on Friday, what did he find on Friday? Yeah, he found some oranges. Let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five oranges. So on Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Oh my goodness, this caterpillar sure can eat. <gasps> look, on Saturday, look at all the food he found on Saturday. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. He had some ice cream. He had a pickle. He had a slice of Swiss cheese. He found one slice of salami. What else did he find? One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. He found a cupcake and ate through the cupcake and a slice of watermelon. And that night, oh, he had a, had a stomach ache. Oh, look at his little face. His stomach hurts. Look at all that food he ate. Too much food. He got a stomach ache. So the next day on Sunday, he found a nice green leaf and he ate through the green leaf. <sighs> and he felt much better. <gasps> but guess what? Oh my goodness. He wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a great big caterpillar. Look at him. How did he get so big? Yeah, he ate all that food and he got so big. 
So he built a small house around him called a cocoon, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. So he's inside the caterpillar. I mean, the cocoon, the caterpillar is. And he stayed there for two weeks. And then he started to nibble a hole out of the cocoon. And he uh, uh, started pushing his way out. <gasps> and guess what? He wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at him. He is a beautiful butterfly. So that caterpillar turned into a butterfly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do you like the story? The very hungry caterpillar? I'm going to have another um, fun activity. So if you want to do an activity about the very hungry caterpillar, See my next video, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.